So, made it to Milan, safe and sound. Hotel room is very comfortable. Let's see. Well, I'm trying to get my trying to get myself together. <laughs> so we have a lunch. Uh, the car is picking us up at 1:15. The lunch is at 1:30, and then we are going to the store, the original store. I'm just gonna call it the Galleria. And then I'm actually meeting Luna at about six o'clock this evening, and then we have dinner tonight at 8:30. So, oh, sorry, Julie's, <laughs> Julie's texting. So uh, my bags just arrived up here. I am going to uh, change and yeah, I have to figure out what I'm wearing because lunch is casual. Lunch is just with um, Julie and Zohair, who is Julie's uh, Prada client advisor, but I'll be wearing whatever I'm wearing now to the store. So I do want to look Prada appropriate. I need to find actually a steamer or an iron. I should do that right now. Not here. Oh, look at this closet. I like these closets with the drawers built in. Very handy. More closet. More closet, but no iron. Let me keep looking. Okay, they're having an iron uh, sent up to my room. So I'm just gonna start hanging stuff up and figure out what I'm gonna wear to the uh, to the store. You guys, I have to say, I mean, I definitely have to iron this out, but this is not as crinkly <laughs> as I thought it was gonna be. I didn't even take the skirt out when I was in Lake Como. I just left it in the suitcase and I thought, whatever, I'm gonna have to iron it anyway. But it's not that bad. I'm surprised. Well, hello. I am just putting on some makeup. I'm in a bit of a rush because I am running a little bit late. So I took some time to dig out this tripod that I have you guys on, but I am midway through my makeup. I am putting on some of the Chanel Beige Eclaton, the cream to powder blush. I am doing a very light look today. Nothing too dramatic. The lighting in this bathroom is very bright, except for where I'm standing. <laughs> okay, I think that's even. We are going out to lunch first, so I think I'm just gonna bring my lip stuff with me. Otherwise, I'm just gonna eat it off. And now my hair is sticking up here, why? Why? Okay, we're just gonna leave it. And after lunch, we are going to the Prada store. So, I did wanna look semi-presentable. Just trying to find a one and done shadow. I did bring the Prada Green Chanel shadow. Do I want to use this? Maybe not today. I'm going to try something from the Dior Quint or the Tom Ford Quad. Maybe the Tom Ford Quad because what I'm wearing is a little bit Warmer in tone. Can't remember what brushes I brought. Oh, I brought all my refer brushes, thank God. Okay, I packed, I packed well in the brush department. Okay, I'm just gonna use brush number one, which is this fat, flat shader, I almost said fat shader, flat shader. I'm gonna go into this shade, the lighter brown. I haven't used this quad in such a long time. This one is first frost, do you remember this? from a couple years back at this point. This is one of my all-time favorite Tom Ford quads, and it was part of the Soleil Neige collection, I think a couple years ago. I don't know why they didn't make this permanent. I will never understand the choice between permanent and limited edition. It generally doesn't make sense to me. I really cannot tell if my makeup is even right now. I need my Elio smear. Yes, yes, the light in here is very helpful. Very, very helpful. Okay, I think that is good for eyeshadow. Just gonna do that. Then, I'm gonna curl my lashes. My trusty rougher lash curler. I packed a mascara, right? Right? Oh boy. Did I not pack a mascara? Blushes, eyeshadows, highlighter. I did not pack a mascara. I packed a brow gel. Wow. 
Wow, amazing. I don't think I've ever done that before. I mean, there were moments where like, I just didn't pack a lot of makeup and maybe just like skipped it. I don't think I've ever thought I packed mascara and, and didn't. I may need to pick some up. A little shopping may need to happen later. Not a big deal, not a big deal. <laughs> I guess I will definitely put on eyeliner. I was not gonna put on eyeliner, but I've got my Valentino um, eyeliner here, but this will help. With the eye situation, I'm gonna just tight line with it. So when I was checking into my room, there were a ton of people in the lobby just wearing head to toe Prada. It was so fun to see. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot my skin. Such a dodo bird. You know, Julie and I were commiserating because I just don't think I packed very well for this trip. You know, I was so focused on like these Prada outfits. I really didn't think about like the whole rest of the trip. Anyway, it's too late now. No sense in crying over spilled milk. Is that the saying? Did I say that right? All right, I'm gonna bring the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil, the Armani lip gloss, whoa, and I'm gonna bring my new Prada purse. I think I'll wear it as maybe a clutch, maybe a maybe a shoulder bag, maybe a shoulder bag. But let me first show you what I am wearing. All right, so I've got this Prada cardigan on. Today is the coolest day in Milan. It is only high 65. So I figured let me wear this today because I probably won't wear it for the rest of the week. I believe it's gonna get up into the 70s the rest of the week. So I figured let me just wear this today. Um, I've got my cropped poplin short sleeve um, button front shirt. I have it tucked into my nylon kilt. And then I've got my origami uh, pumps on, kitten heel pumps. They're so squeaky. Now, what I had been thinking was I will probably, I think the smart thing to do while I'm out and about is to bring a pair of backup shoes that are comfortable. However, the bag that I brought is not big enough for that. So since I'm going to the store, this may be an excuse for me to get one of those big totes and I may end up carrying that around because I really just don't know how much walking we're doing. I don't think a ton. I think uh, Prada was kind enough to, you know, book cars for us kind of back and forth, but you just never know. You never know in a city, a car may not show up. The people you're with may be like, oh, let's just walk. It's not far. Uh, famous last words. So I really want, I really want to bring like backup shoes and I do have some comfortable Prada shoes um, that I can bring as backup. So yeah, I may, I may end up, I may end up getting a big tote to carry around with me. All right, I am actually gonna go, am I gonna go up to Julie's room? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to her room, see if she approves of my outfit. I wanna see what she's wearing too. And then off to lunch. We're going to eat at Paper Moon. Never been.
lunch was delicious now we're headed out to the store so excited let's get our shopping on all right we've arrived it is rainy out. I don't think rain was in the uh, forecast. No, no, that wasn't on the itinerary. It was not on the itinerary. Okay. All right. hotel I'm in the lobby and I'm waiting for Luna so excited so Luna and I got right down to business she uh, she had to you know get home I have to be on my way out to dinner but I am gonna be sitting down with her when all of the Prada shenanigans is over and we'll do a little check because I know you guys want to see her. But these are the brown sapphire earrings that I commissioned from her. Aren't they incredible? Aren't they so incredible? 18 karat rose gold, brown sapphires. So amazing. And just a quick highlight of some of the things she is uh, lending me. I don't know if I'm going to wear all of these things but look at these emerald earrings i think i've featured these on my channel before isn't that gorgeous look at these rings emeralds 18 karat gold and then here is a brown sapphire ring 
not mine, but maybe soon because it's perfect match to my earrings. <laughs> These are brown diamonds with the micro micro chain. Aren't these incredible? And then we've got uh, white topaz. Look at how sparkly that is. Oh my God, I love that. And then we've got this really interesting ring. It's like a knuckle ring. So this goes at the base of your finger and then this goes at the tip of your finger. And then some um, big chain hoops. These are just like the chain that I wear all the time. Oh, and then this is enameled sterling silver. How cool is that? And then this is with a citrine. Isn't that neat? And then here's a bangle. I love this. I love how it looks like it's, looks like it's like folded or it's like bark. It's just so cool. The texture is so neat. So I just texted uh, Julie because she had to run some errands. Um, we have dinner actually very soon. So I'm trying to figure out where to meet her. Um, I'm going to change because I had these origami shoes on. Gorgeous. But the leather is very hard. So my feet were a little tired. <laughs> a little tired, a little sore. So I'm going to wear something that allows me more comfortable shoes. And I think that's it for now. Quick outfit change. I put pants on, <laughs> put loafers on, because I needed uh, more comfortable shoes. And these are uh, much more comfortable than those origami kitten heels, even though the leather is the same, but you know, it's a full shoe and it is actually quite chilly out. So I wanted to cover up my legs. So I've got my YSL uh, wool trousers on. I put on Luna's emerald earrings. Are they not the coolest? I thought maybe I could have them crawling up my ear, but my earlobe is too sad. So they look better kind of hanging down a little bit like that. On this side, there's only two, not only, there's two on this side, three emeralds on this side. And then I put, I stacked the three emerald rings is that not incredible? I am so glad I brought this cardigan. I really was not sure if I was gonna bring it. I was like, it's gonna be way too warm, but who knows? I'll bring it just in case. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did because I'm also at the point where I'm like, if it remains this chilly all week, I, I, don't, I don't have actually much to layer other than this cardigan. But I think I, sh I should be fine. I should be fine. I've got the bomber jacket. I did bring some nylon jackets. Those aren't very warm, but it may get rainy. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Okay. I'm waiting for Julie and Zohair uh, to let me know when to come down for dinner. I think someone's running late and some plans have changed, but anyway, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> everybody how are you i woke up at six to get a head start today is the day today is the show i am so excited i'm so tired but i'm so excited so anyway i woke up at six i was like i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna you know shower get not get ready because um, they're actually sending uh someone over to do my hair and makeup but i need to shower um and then you know get breakfast the whole thing the gym doesn't open for another uh, half hour. <laughs> I'm glad I checked. So I'm just gonna hang out with you guys for a little bit until they open. 
and then uh, and then go down there. But I slept like a baby. We got back from dinner very late, probably close to midnight, and then um, you know got into bed, read a little bit, and then just passed out, passed out cold. So I do think I I didn't sleep for very long, but I think I slept really well which is so great. Gosh, yesterday I was I was definitely really out of it. There was a lot going on, a lot of coordination, <laughs> you know, between Julie Zohair, who is Julie's client advisor at Prada, um, who's along for the ride. Yeah, so I don't even know if I explained Luna's visit that much because that was kind of a, whirl a whirlwind as well, but she came over to drop off some jewelry for me to wear this week, which is so kind just so so kind so. my birthday is actually in a couple days oh my gosh and i can't believe i'm here in milan celebrating it oh you know you just feel sometimes you just feel like the most fortunate person in the entire world that's how i feel that's how i felt i i feel like most of this year this trip has been uh like a culmination of some of the most incredible amazing moments and experiences i've had um anyway i'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get too sentimental right now. What time is it? What time is it? Is it time for the gym yet? No, 10 more minutes, my goodness. All right, I'm gonna sit here and read a little bit. I'm actually reading a Karen Slaughter book, but one of my goals for 2024 was to read different types of books because I'm always reading, I feel like, detective, crime, serial killer <laughs> type novels. I just like those. Those for me, those books go by, you know, quickly. I don't want to put them down. Started to read. What did I start to read? It was actually a book that my friend Lara suggested, and it was turned into a movie. The Martian. Is that the book? With um, I think the movie was with Matt Damon. Anyway, it was it was great, but it just happened to be at a time where I, I just I don't know. Sometimes I sometimes I love to read you know, in bed before I go to sleep. And sometimes I just want to watch TV. Anyway, I fell into this watching TV mode. This was like maybe the beginning of the summer. And anyway, I never picked it back up. But then I read a book called Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. I think that's the author's name. So good. I just finished that. And now I'm reading uh, the next installment in the Will Trent series um, by Karen Slaughter. It's great. It's great. I can't put it down. I almost, like last night I picked it up. I started to read like a few pages and I was like, I have to put this down. I'm getting sucked in. <laughs> I'm going to be up until 2 a.m. So uh, anyway, I'm back to reading these crime novels, but they're good. They're really good. Well, I may leave and just walk on over and see if they're open. Um, and also this hotel is giant. It may take me 10 minutes to find this uh, fitness club. I need to use some of my eye masks today. Okay, now I'm just rambling. Well, good morning, and I'll be back. I'll be back in a bit. The inside of this elevator, it's so beautiful. It's like mosaic tile. Gym. <laughs> we are now sitting here at breakfast. We were trying to figure out the situation. We think it's a buffet. Yeah, I think it's a buffet. Um, and now they're bringing us our coffee.
I love my makeup. This lip color combo is so good. I have to figure out what it is. I forgot to ask her, but she used a Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil down here. I'm pretty sure I have the shade. And then this uh, was a Chanel Rouge Coco. It was like one of the glossy ones. Was it, fl uh, was it a flash? I'm going to look, but it looked really dark in the bullet. And I was like, I want to kind of a nude shade. But this is like such an interesting version of nude. It's like very natural. Oh my God. I love it. Her name is Floriana. If you follow me on Instagram, I tagged her there. She does a lot of runway work. She was off to the Moschino show uh, to work backstage. She was wonderful. She was really wonderful. Really, really sweet. Really nice. So professional and so fast. So fast. I got done. What time is it? It's 1130 and she got here at a quarter to 10 and like right on the dot. I mean, amazing. So I'm just going to sit here and relax because we're not leaving until one and I don't want to get dressed and like sit around in my clothes for too long. So I'm just going to hang out for a bit, maybe read, continue reading my book. And um, then we're off to the show. Okay, we're in the car on the way to the show. Can we just... Can we just take a moment to appreciate Miss Julie's look? Oh my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you can see more on Instagram. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I mean, you can't see the full look, but my, this outfit was part of my gateway into Prada. It's from the spring 2008 fairy collection, which is one of my it yeah. is my all-time favorite collection it's gorgeous. and i bought it in 2008. i can't you take very good care of your clothing because i only wear it once oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you've only worn it once I've, is this your second time this might be my third time ever okay. wearing it since 2008. don't be like me people wear wear your, wear your stuff wear your stuff i feel like you, did you wear this at a plucky retreat no Okay. I I remember you turned it out though for one I retreat. I wore a I think I wore a green lawn vaughn dress. A silk green lawn vaughn. I think that's dress. what I'm thinking of. Okay. Oh plucky. Plucky. Plucky R. I. P. See and hyphen Tiamo. Do you see all the in hyphen fans? Dare say it was crazier last year. There, she just turned around. I hear screaming. Oh no! <laughs> I hear screaming. Oh, there's, there's Philo, my favorite. Oh my god, the screaming is so. Can I um? Yeah. Everyone does want your picture. <laughs> I'm like standing there. I'm like, they don't want my picture. <laughs> like, let me just step aside. <laughs> we made it through the entrance. Now we're going to the bathroom.
afternoon. I look crazy. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. I'm, I'm not that tired. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything is fine. No, yesterday was just absolutely magical. The show was incredible. Um, I mentioned this to some friends and they were completely floored because they had no idea. So I think I'll mention it here. Um, but fashion shows are not long. I think the Prada show from beginning to end was, it was definitely less than 10 minutes. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe around 10 minutes, six, eight minutes. They're not long. And so it's interesting that there's so much hoopla, for lack of a better word, that goes around um, a fashion show. I mean, obviously it's, it's about more than that. Anyway, um, yeah, they thought that was, they had no idea. They thought it was like an hour long. I was like, oh no, <laughs> my God. No, I don't think anyone want to sit there for an hour long just seeing like stuff go, you would glaze over, your eyes would glaze over. So 
anyway, it was incredible, so incredible. And then, you know, there was all this like, you know, these like things to do afterwards. They had photographers set up so you could do like street photography. They're supposed to send us the pictures, uh, you know, later once they get them all processed. Um, we'll see. We'll see if we get them. And then we, everything's a blur. Oh, we came back to the hotel. Um, oh, there's actually a Vogue Italia um, event, but I wanted to come back to the hotel to change and do some work. So I did that, met Julie back here at the hotel because she wanted to change. And then we went to the dinner and um, like I noticed at the fashion show that people were dressed from, as you can imagine, from like t-shirts and jeans to you know, beautiful like gowns and stuff. And so I figured the same would be for the dinner, especially because it was just a client dinner. There weren't going to be, there wasn't going to be photographers or anything like that. And it was just the clients and, you know, internal personnel at Prada, but people were dressed really nicely, really, really nice. I mean, I guess because it was a dinner, but I kind of like toned it down. I wore my um, bomber jacket as you guys saw, but I was comfortable and it's not like I felt weird, but, um, I was very comfortable, but it was at such an incredible place. It used to be a palace and they have events there. And the room that we were actually sitting in to eat had all, you know, those giant mirrors. So it felt very much like, you know, Versailles was probably an inspiration um, or vice versa. I actually don't know which one's older, uh, but it, yeah, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And the food, you know, at, at some of these events, I don't ever expect the food to like blow my skirt up. The food was absolutely incredible, incredible. All I remember is that we had cod for the main course, but the cod, unless they call it something different, I don't think so. It it felt more like, tasted more like a Chilean sea bass. It had that really, it was like a steak and it was um, really buttery. Oh my God, it was so good. The dessert was incredible. Oh my God, it was so great. And then there was an after party and by the time we were done with dinner at about 10.30, I was exhausted. I was so tired. I And I, I like physically shut down when I'm tired. Mentally, I feel like I could keep going, but I literally, like my vision gets really blurry. I think a lot of it is just my contacts drying out, but I, it just, it's almost like a night vision thing. Like I, I can't see well when I'm tired and then I don't hear well either. I literally just start like physically shutting down and so I didn't, I didn't go to the after party and Julie this morning said that, it, you know, it was fun. It was like kind of, um, it had like a real like club, like club feel, like really loud DJ. She's like a lot of smoke or whatever. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if you would have had fun. And I'm like, maybe if it was at 5 p.m., but not, not at like 11 p.m. So I just came back to the hotel and then I closed all the drapes because we didn't have anything to do today. We have more events tomorrow. And so I didn't set my alarm. I closed all the drapes. I washed my face. I put my jammies on. I got into bed and I just turned, you know, my nightlight off, my nightstand lamp off, put my head down and I woke up 10 hours later. I pr probably fell asleep at around 12, 1230, 1230. Yeah, because I was, uh, I made a quick call to my husband just to let him know that everything went well. And then woke up this morning at 1030 a.m., I was shocked. I looked at my phone and I thought, oh, it's probably around like six or seven. 10.30. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. 10 hours, solid straight. And in fact, I just had to take an Advil because my neck, <laughs> I think because I didn't move all night, my neck is very stiff. So I just took an Advil. Um, so Julia's off doing a few things. She's actually going to the Gucci show. I'm probably meeting up with Zohair, who is Julie's uh, client advisor at Prada, senior, excuse me, senior client advisor at Prada. And uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with him later, but I wanted to um, edit my vlog, my Lake Como vlogs. So anyway, I am just sitting here um, editing. I need to edit my packing video, which seems crazy. It's so weird because it's like, I'm here, I'm editing obviously something that's already happened. And then you guys are seeing it even later, but you know, I, how else can I do this? So um, if all goes well, you will have seen my packing for this trip video on my birthday on Saturday, September 21st.
51, the big 5-1 that I'm spending here in Milan with Prada. I still can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I just wanted to check in with you guys, um, but I'm just working. And then I'm hoping to get done editing, meet up with Zohair. I think I started to talk about this, sorry. Meet up with Zohair. I wanted to check out the Miu Miu boutique because there's no Miu Miu in Las Vegas. And I always try and go when I'm in New York and I run out of time. So I'm going to try and go to the Mimi Boutique here. And then we have um, dinner reservations at Beef Bar. That's the restaurant we were going to go to our first night in Milan, but that got changed. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try Beef Bar or any place called Beef Bar. <laughs> Sounds great to me. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Ju some of Julie's friends are going to be joining us. And that's, you know, not a Prada situation. That's just on our own. And then that's it. I've got to pack up because tomorrow we need to check out of this hotel and then I am meeting up with my friend who's here in Milan. I'm gonna be staying with her for two nights. She's here for work um, and she's at a different hotel. So uh, I'm gonna go over there tomorrow at some point. We're actually trying to figure out logistics. So if you can believe, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's brilliant, right? It makes sense, but I believe we got a notice and I may be, sorry, I'm trying to look for the notes. I think, I think I threw it out. Nope. Um, we got a notice from the hotel that there is a strike going on, I think today, until I, gets, I guess it gets resolved. I'm not exactly sure how it happens in Europe, but um, strike happening today, and it's with transportation, mass transportation. Anyway, they were like, cabs are going to be very difficult to get and whatever, and so we're trying to figure out logistics to, for tomorrow because, in my mind... I just kept thinking, well, it's no big deal. I can always just grab an Uber if I have to, but I think I think it's going to be really difficult. So we're trying to figure out car services because Julie's going to a different hotel as well, but different from mine. So it's like a whole thing. Anyway, I tried to get a room at the hotel that she's at, but it was like I couldn't get one for tomorrow night, but I could get one for the next night. It just, I was like, what? You know, with Fashion Week, everything's crazy. So anyway... So we're trying to figure that out. That's happening tomorrow. So I have to pack again, <laughs> got to pack again, head on to my next hotel. And then um, what else? Yeah, we have a whole full day tomorrow with Prada. We're actually, Julie and I are actually going to the Gucci Risi tomorrow morning, which is exciting. And then the rest of the day, we're going to be spending with Prada. Of course, we're getting a tour of the Fondazione, which is going to be incredible. Uh, we have the Prada Risi tomorrow evening. Um, I think we have a lunch in there, which I think is just the three of us. Yeah. And then we're free after the Reese. Yeah, I'm going to be hanging out with my friend um, that, you know, I'm crashing with at her hotel. I'm going to be hanging out with her. Then the next day I'm going to be hanging out with Luna. So um, just hang on, hang on, because uh, Luna and I will be on here together. Uh, and then the day after that, Monday, September 23rd, I will be returning home my long, long flight, but I'm basically retracing my steps. I'm going from Malpensa here in Milan to Newark, Jersey, and then from Newark to Vegas. And I don't lose a day going home. I will be getting back on the day that I'm leaving, which is nice, unlike when I'm coming here. I'm just rambling. Let me get back to um, editing. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, if I go to Miu Miu, if I have time. If I go to Miu Miu, I'll bring you guys along. If not, we're heading to Beef Bar for dinner. <laughs>